Hello and welcome to the Allen Coral Atlas tutorial. Before we start, let's sign in. Click sign in in the top right corner. If you don't have a login, it is free to register and creating an account will allow you more capabilities on the Atlas. Okay, let's start by clicking on the Atlas page in the top center. We are looking at the Dark One base map, which is now a new feature by popular request for areas with low bandwidth internet access. Now, I'm going to show you some of the features and tools, including global satellite imagery, benthic and geomorphic layers, using the polygon tool, and how to select and save my areas. Starting with the top left search bar, type in Lighthouse Reef Belize and click the search icon. Here you can see the satellite imagery that's available globally, and you can choose between 2019 and 2018. Next, in the right panel, click the mini-map, which allows you to see where you are in the world. Following in a clockwise direction, click the icon that is the dynamic legend. It will show up in the bottom left corner. As long as one of the other data layers is turned on, such as benthic analysis or geomorphic analysis. Next, we are going to dive in to see what else the Atlas can do. Let's jump to our newly mapped Southwest Pacific region under mapped areas. If we click the pie chart, we'll see a countrywide analysis. You are able to unclick the geomorphic layers. To, this allows you to tailor your analysis. For example, you can take out shallow lagoon and plateau and see specific benthic layers now, what if we want to access a particular locally managed marine area? We need to download the file from protectedplanet.org or another resource. For our example, we are using a Fiji LMMA. So you use the upload button here on the right. Locate the file on your computer. Click your GeoJSON or KML file. Now click open. Then you're able to name it and save. This will get saved to my areas, which is a special area for all of your favorites and high interest spots. As you're able to see the LMMA outlined area, we want to note that you're able to analyze this large area by clicking the pie chart, but this will take longer than smaller areas. So we're going to try to find a smaller area. By doing this, we'll use the zoom icon in the left side toolbar Next, find the polygon tool and start clicking around the area of interest. And you are able to double click to close a polygon for analysis. This area can also be saved. Another function of the Atlas is to share this URL with a colleague. If you copy and share it, it will take you to the exact location. Next, we're going to check out the ruler icon because maybe you want to see how long a channel is for transportation or length of coral extent. Find the tool in the left toolbar, click on the ruler icon, then simply click each side of the channel. This will give you total distance. Our team would like to note that we are in the beta stage of the mapping process. Improvements are continually being updated and we encourage feedback. You're able to click the feedback icon to report corrections at allencoralatlas.org. Next, I want to point out the NOAA Coral Reef Watch data layers. They are on the right panel under data layers. You're able to choose bleaching alert areas or the other and you can explore this global data set by zooming out. We are happy to connect and have more conversations on how you are using the Atlas for your conservation initiatives. As these are a few features the Atlas can help you get started. We also have a blog page. Or if you're curious and have more questions about the science and methods. Again, if you have further questions or updates, 
then you, you would like to ask on the Atlas, please contact us at support at allencoralatlas.org.